What's up, you guys? Gold Dewey Black Ops Kid here, coming at you with a, another tech review, Tech Tuesdays. And, uh, yeah, we got some new. We just did the Easy DIY Fabs fans RGB, and they look pretty damn sick in my new system. And for 50 bucks, you got five fans and an included controller with two ports for an RGB strip. Today, we're not doing the Easy DIY Fabs, we're doing a new carrier. Let's see how well these bad boys stack up. I am a big RGB enthusiast. Most people are nowadays. I had to try these out. They're 30, they were $30 on sale. They're three RGB cooling fans by Cool Moon, uh, like Peckham or something like that. I'll put the name in there. And you open it up, bam, you get your three RGB fans. So these ones are a little different. Oh God. DIY fans. These ones are clear all the way around. They seem to glide pretty good. Looking at the two, the fans look pretty decent. Um, pretty much the same, uh, pretty much the same, uh, like mounting mechanisms, all that kind of stuff. Um, definitely the cord. Cords look exactly the same. It's a five pin, and it does have the cool moon. They look pretty similar, uh, especially if I took out the easy DIY fab part on this. Um, these are clear all the way around, so I'm assuming the RGB is still going to be pretty impressive. And for 30 bucks, you get three fans, Molex cord, because they don't. This one I don't think uses SATA. Comes with the required pins. A control module with two LED strips on the front. Of course, this I do believe is RGB as well. Three, 3M sticky tape on the back, which we're not going to be using that today. A remote with fan control modes, sleep, speed, or sorry, speed modes, RGB, and I guess I'm not really sure what these modes are on the bottom. We're gonna find that out. But basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this cord, red to red, right here, the red. Put the red here. Can't mess it up. It only goes in one way, like so. Goes in. Then it goes into a peripheral port or Molex or whatever, and then you plug your fans in, which these only go one way in. And if you see right there, there's little ports there. The little dabs on these little fan connectors go inside these peripheral ports, and they just go in just like so. Now, you see all our fans are put together. We just have to put this Molex, and there is, I guess, um, integration with your motherboard and uh, use these are probably going to use it doesn't have any instructions in here at all I'm assuming I can look at some things to try and find exactly what we can use these for so 0 to 30 uh, 13 rpms uh, airflow is 38.5 cfm hydro bearing uh, four pin on four pin on the interface which uh, looks normal I guess I thought these were five. Uh, their lifetime is good to 2,500 hours, which the DIY fans are boasting 50,000 50, hours. So, um, and the controller is to a six pin for fan connectors. And DVA is about 20. Um, they didn't have any of this information on the easy DIY fabs, but I'm sure they're just fine. Oh, let's go check these out now. So these are the fans set up. And uh, pretty much all we have to do is just connect this uh, which is one of these ports right here. Um, yeah, th these are like peripheral Molex cables. I'm using a Thermal Take 700 watt power supply, and I have tons of these left over. So let me just plop this in. This will go right into these ports right here, facing the inside of that port right there. So they are spinning. They are pulsing RGB right now. So now it's time to find that damn remote. Here it is. Really good for airflow though. So let's change out the mode. Got some pretty good RGB in there. So let's just go... Change the speed on them with the remote.
As you can see, like, these fans right here. Yeah, that's pushing out quite a bit of air, dude. It doesn't look the best RGB in the world. Maybe it looks better in a case. But, like, look at these ones, for example, or even go to the DIY one. They look really, really good. So, I mean, comparing them to the DIY fabs is, of course, out of this world. But, airflow is pretty good. Maybe if we turn the uh, speed down to look at these ones. Now, what do you think, these or the DIY fabs? All right, ready? Hold on. Oh my god, I have to change the mode again. No! Ho -ho! Okay, so this RGB or that RGB? God damn it. <laughs> or that RGB. Ding, 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 ding. All right, so this is the thing inside of my PC. Prince Charming's PC. Funa. And actually highlights your fucking case really good. Yeah, I know. And uh, he was working with these two uh, two broken-ass fans. This, like, Wish PC fan and the one that came with his case. Oh, my God. And, yeah, you know... To make your PC really stand out, you want these mustard cables going through there. This isn't a bad fan, but uh, as far as I'm aware, the controller that... Oh my god, look at all that dust. God damn! Yeah, it's just dusty as fuck. But, um... Yeah, so like, putting these in, they're 30 bucks on... Oh, come on. They're 30, 30 bucks on uh, Amazon. I couldn't think of the fucking name for it. And, yeah, he has a nice-ass system for cheap. And the fans are really, really strong. I took his front panel off. You can just can feel this. Here, check this out. Right? I actually like your case for easy management, too. Not bad. Not bad for 30 bucks. So, these would be pretty good. Brief. Looks like we have the clear winner. These guys are probably good for... You know, if you only need a couple, maybe, these would probably be alright. Just like the color quality. The fan's nice, though. Um, They're just not the same quality as the DIY fabs. I don't think I'll ever be able to find something as good as the DIY fabs, actually. These are pretty good. They're more clear. Some people like that that appearance. And even on the sides, they look really good. It's just like, for me to spend $30 on these, probably not the best uh, thing ever. But there is good hope. If you're going to use it for radiators or stuff like that, they will plug into the same controller as the other f controller over there. But, like I said, not as good to quality. You might as well spend the 20 extra bucks and get more fans even if you don't need it. That's the way I look at it. You can repurpose those fans and get another controller. So, Alright guys, what do you guys think about the Cool Moon RGB fans? Are you bet are Do you like them better? Do you like them like that? Uh, do you like the DIY fans or are you a deep cooler guy? I personally love the deep cooler RGB fans. Had them for a long time and... Uh, can't beat the DIY fabs either. Those things are just so good. And uh, you get five for 50 bucks. So thanks, guys, for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.